it, I come from a place where everyone was musical. We sing in church, uh, we we sing when we drink, you know, I mean, yeah. Ambunan. Everybody there uh, cannot live without music. More laid back and it, it's different like the city. city is, yeah, you know, you need to make ends meet. Right there, you have your party field. I'm always really looking forward to it, especially if it's holiday and it's harvest festival. Oh man. I hardly even spend any money, you know. I, it's like we go to other house, they have they have this big feast and they just put on the kerbau, put on the cows and oh, and everyone is singing. You go to the next neighborhood, it's like that. So everything is just peaceful. Um, so to entertain themselves definitely it's music. But now as 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 time goes by they start to go electronic. You get to hear all this keyboard coming in. They yeah. start to compose their song. Yeah. And the neighbor knows their song, the neighbor plays their song. Is that yeah. kind of thing? You know, so wow. I no. At first I saw a group of band. They were just playing some simple chords and I and I hear some simple voicing. They were playing Beatles and I said, Oh, this is so good. I mean it's like it's a choir but then at the same time people are playing instruments. It all started there. We went to another competition, we got number one, we got another competition, and it all started there. And they were like, when there was a party, a big boys party, they would still call me, oh, this was underage, no? He's in the rock band, you know? <laughs> that kind of all the city. It was like, okay, this is another level of music to me. Like competing one to one with everybody here. What makes you the next 20 that's chosen? So, you know, to meet the best guitarist, I mean, the best teacher I've ever had. And will still be the best teacher I've ever met. Who was? Which is Ronald James. Okay. Ronald James is the most prominent jazz guitarist, and he was the head of the combo in RPM. He composed a song, and I, I had no idea who he was at that time. You know, I had no idea who he was, and I was like, okay, this is my first guitar class. I'm so excited. People will actually teach me how to play guitar, and you know, teach me proper way how to play guitar. I was so excited. Hating trumpet, it sounded like, it sounded like, it's, it's not, it's not like the others, you know, they play saxophone, they can play love songs, I, I sounded like, you know, I said, oh, this is so, this is so, um, school band, you know, playing all the, back to the government school, playing the marching band, and, and they, and, you know, they tease me, oh you know what, just you should march around the, and run with the trumpet, you know, uh, you know. Because at that time, to us, trumpet is just like a um, school band. We never had exposure how what, what trumpet can do at that time, you know. So, my friend was losing it. He said, I totally hate trumpet, man. And this is not developing my interest. So, I failed. <laughs> I failed my trumpet. Everybody was going to the degree program and what was holding me back was the trumpet. <laughs> so, so my parents said, no, you, 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 you're doing this wrong thing. You cannot, music, you cannot, just because you have to like it, no. There are certain things that you need to, you need to do a reverse psychology. You have to love the instrument in order for you to excel. Well, trumpet, I tell you, is big deal in KL. Really? Ah, <laughs> then I said to you know, really, what, what can, like, who plays solo? Can, can anybody play solo? Is this a solo instrument? This is a brass instrument. I mean, this is a, this is a marching band instrument, right? All I have to do is just make sure that, no, have you heard of Blues Armstrong? That's the father of jazz. <gasps> then I started, oh, really? <laughs> then I started to do some research, you know? Then he said, listen to Chet Becker. Then so suddenly I, I start to love this instrument, you know. Then 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 I start to then what really made changes in my playing was I got another lecturer, a flying lecturer from KL, and this guy is from DBKL. He's a he's a trumpeter from DBKL, and he said, "Look, kid, um, I heard you guys are having problem with the trumpet, and you know what? Trumpet can make good melody." He start, and then he started to play this thing. Pa -ra -ra. Oh, then that was like okay, that was it for me. I want to play like him. Then, then the rest is history. Yeah. I'll just be uh, playing. Yeah. Uh, from education, you have to educate parents that, that these young children can have a good career in music, but they need to choose the correct pathway. And 
definitely through education, definitely. And why not? Why not having your, your, your children, for example, your children with George? Why not having your children called Dr. George, having PhD in music? So not? And some parents are even asked, really? Do they have PhD in music? Yes. Our professors have your PhD in music. Why not being good in the things that you, you love doing at? And just, you know, doing research and really study about it. Really good thing. Right? So, I mean, music has its science. Definitely, music has its science from what I believe. Music has its science and it takes talented people to understand it. What more to say to master it. You know, uh, I, and I believe musicians are gifted and rare people who are chosen people by God, I think. There are some people who...